Hello, everybody. Welcome to my presentation. Today, we're going to talk about herbal medicine in Mexico, okay? And, of course, there are thousands of websites you can check out, but I highly recommend these two, okay? The first one is ncbi.nlm.nih.gov, which has an article journal written by Barbara Valdivia Correa, Cristina Gomez Gutierrez, Misael Uribe, and Aun Mendez Sanchez. Okay, this one was written in 2016 in this journal article. And the next one, um, it's a uh, 16 medicinal plants taken from mexicodesconocido.com.mx, plantas medicinales mexicanas. Okay, so the first one is this one which is, um, covers a lot of information about the medicinal plants in Mexico. So the title for, for this article is titled Herbal Medicine in Mexico, a cause of um, hepatotoxicity, a critical review, okay? I guess we can start by the beginning. <laughs> what type of uh, medicinal plants do we have in Mexico? Of course, we got more than 4,000 of plants and herbs and medicinal character of medicine that are used in Mexico for many centuries ago, okay? Some of those can be leaves, seeds, flowers, roots, plants, or from extracts from the plants, okay? So according to this article, in Mexico, we got more than 4,500 recorded species of medicinal herbs, plants, or leaves of this type, okay? But only second, um, in medicine, natural medicine um, after China, which China has more than 5,000, okay? So the oldest record of medicinal plants are like about 400 years old when the Spaniards came to the Americas and they started recording uh, things, okay? So most of the important states with medicinal knowledge are in Oaxaca, Veracruz, Nuevo Leon, Yucatan and Chiapas, with most of them having a knowledge about the medicinal plants, okay? And here we even got a map for those, okay? Those are the um, cities I mentioned, Nuevo León, Oaxaca, Chiapas, Yucatan, and Veracruz. The importance of this article is because, uh, unfortunately, many people also get sick. Uh, in searching for a cure, they also get sick. So they are trying to be aware of the damages this may cause. So the references that they use are at the end of this article. And some of types of the types of the medicine and things they have it, um, anisillo, epazote, Orange leaves, limon leaves, um, what else they got? According to different states, Romero, El Carrizo, Te de Tila, Sirimo, Morán, Cactus, Menta, Creosote, Dandelion. I guess now we get time to go to the actual, some of the remedies, okay? So the references for this article are here at the bottom, okay? If you see, I think this is a well-researched um, article. It has more than 30 research websites. So this one has the actual top 16 uh, hierbas medicinales in Mexico. And this website is from mexicodesconocido.com. So this one mentioned the actual top 16 plantas mexicanas that get to cure, okay? I guess we can start with the first one. Number uno, pasiflora. This one causes insomnio, ansiedad, presión arterial alta. It's a type of love, okay? Number two, abrojo amarillo. It's an also type of flower. And this one it helps to cure infections, okay? Achiote, another flower. This one is used for um, an anxiety. Okay. Arnica del Monte, this one helps um, with um, disinflammation, okay? Another one is Bougainvillea, number five. It's another type of flower. Number six, Sempasuchil for nervous, nervousness, okay? And espanto, susto, and also for headaches, okay? Next one is La Chaya, 
Okay. This one helps with the rheumatism and pain in articulations. Okay. Number eight, diente de león. This one helps with the liver. Okay. Next one is guajilote, guachilote, chote, cat, or ture. Those are different names of that flower. And this one is good for curing the asthma. Okay. Number 10, hierba del pollo. This one helps with the agruras, ardor en el pecho, garganta, conjuntivitis, and fever. Okay. So fever and sore throat. Uh, 11, hierba del sapo, another type of flower. This one helps with the urinary infections. Okay. Wisache. This one is supposed to help with um, uh, when you get pain in your uh, and see as where you got the teeth and also for uh, skin infections, loosing hair. Malvilla is the next flower. This one is for um, tooth pain. Okay. Next one, mirto rojo. Or allergic relation, allergic reactions in the skin. Mirto rojo. So uh, next one, number 15, muicle. This one is for um, menstrual pains. Okay. Rosa roja, which is the last one, number 16. This one helps to cure uh, skin burns, okay? As well as skin eruptions. So again, please don't use these medical remedies unless you seek for medical attention, as we mentioned in the other um, research article. Um, so many people have tried those, but as another alternative of medication, seek medical attention for professional advice, okay? Thank you for watching. Adios.